Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the South Dakota State Jackrabbits who are 5-3 and three on the season taking on the Southeastern Louisiana Lions who are 3-4. and four. They're led by Brett Williams at quarterback, 84 overall. They've got a, a stockpile of wide receivers at his disposal. One of them is suspended for this game, but it doesn't matter. Most of their team is a quarterback and receivers, so he's got plenty of targets to throw to. And that's pretty much all they've got. They don't have anybody on defense. So I'm expecting the Jackrabbits to come out and put on a show for us today. And I got them winning this one. No surprise. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Mercury will stay low today in this game between the Southeastern Louisiana Lions and the home team. We're about halfway through the season, and these two Big 12 teams are ready to get it on. And here comes the home team. The Lions don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. The home team looks a little overpowering in this one. I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete, and Lee, I think they'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. I've been quiet about this, but I think it's finally time for my pick. I really believe that these guys are going to do it. <laughs> All right, folks, you heard the coach's pick. Now let's head down to the field for the coin talk. So no surprise, the Jackrabbits are the favorites to win this one. Southeastern Louisiana had a tough time this season, and they're already off to a bad start as Jamar Hicks has an interception and returns it up to the 21-yard line. But if you guys remember correctly, North Dakota State put up almost 100 points on this team so I think the Jackrabbits if they had Lamar Jackson they would probably put up triple digits today but instead they're stuck with Matt Harris due to Lamar Jackson's injury Daly Redding stiff arms its uh, defender and gets into the end zone on the first offensive play of the game for the Jackrabbits and they're going to be without Gonzalez the left guard I believe one of the guards <laughs> is he's done for the game Smith up the middle for Southeastern and gets a first down. This major finally brings him down. Third and 10, Brett Williams gonna roll out right side, takes a shot over the middle and that is deflected away. And look at the massive hit from Chris Major, the beast at safety. My goodness. So the Jackrabbits get the ball again, third and three, play action from Harris. And he's going to take off. No, we'll throw it out to Jack Marks, who's wide open. And he's going to get this all the way up past midfield into Lion territory. Harris from the shotgun. Hands to Redding. A lot of space in front of him. Right side, past the 35, and down inside the 30-yard line. Daily Redding, 1,131 yards on the season, 14 touchdowns, 127 yards receiving on seven catches with two scores as well. That play gets called back for holding. So Harris going to have to throw it off his back foot. Connects with Jack Marks again, this time to the 45-yard line of southeastern Louisiana. Harris going to throw it again. Left side. And that is incomplete. He wanted Erwin Dowski. just had a little too much on the throw. And there's a holding call. So the offensive line is not doing so hot right now for the Jacks. And the Lions take back over on offense. Deep shot right side. And it's caught by Smith. I believe that is the halfback. Up past the 45-yard line. And the crowd goes dead silent. Jack Rabbit's looking to take control here of the Big 12. Of course, they're without Lamar Jackson today. They're turning to redshirt senior quarterback Matt Harris to lead the team. And there's a fumble. A third and five now for the Lions. Nice juke move for Smith. He picks up eight yards and a first down. Third and 11. Can the defense stop him? Williams. All day to throw it over the middle, deflected, intercepted by Howland. That's the fourth string cornerback, and he makes a man miss. He's up past the 40, midfield, the other 40, past the 30, the 25-20, all the way inside the 15-yard line, finally tracked down at the 12. What a huge interception return. Wow. He's replacing one of the nickel cornerbacks, and that was a great run after the interception. Defender dives and misses. He outruns everybody until the receiver is finally able to track him down. What a play. His first pick on the year. Third and seven. Harris in the shotgun with uh, Daly Redding. Harris going to throw it over the middle. Caught by Maxey. He's going to fumble the football inside the five-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Recovered by Southeastern Louisiana. Jackrabbits have a lot of turnovers inside the red zone this season, and that is just going to add to it. 
Perfect throw from Harris. Maxey has the first down. Just doesn't hold on to the football. And he's been really good for the Jackrabbits this season at tight end. He's the backup tight end to Brahms North. Williams taking a shot deep downfield, and that is going to be dropped. Luckily, that was uh, Jack Marks out there in coverage. So we will see Jack Marks and Reinhard Wendowski playing some uh, on defense in the secondary. And here's Mason Smith up the middle. He's going to pick up a first down for South Dakota State. They really got to get the ground game working. I don't trust Matt Harris's arm throwing the football. He's daily running against it. Farms the defender and taken down at the marker. You can see he's fourth in the country for yards and fifth for touchdowns with 15. They did give him the first down as well. First and 10. Option right side. Harris, a lot of space in front of him. He can run the football. He pitches it out to Mason Smith, and he'll get it up to the five-yard line. 70 yards on the ground now for the Jacks. Second to go. Smith in the backfield. Counter right side, and Mason Smith has the score. His fifth touchdown run on the season. He has been... An absolute stud for the Jackrabbits this year. He's got a lot of first downs with his runs. And he's also second on the team in tackles with 37 coming into this game. Which is very impressive. I made the decision to put him at linebacker during the spring game when he was just balling out. And it has definitely paid dividends for the Jackrabbits this season. Second and one here for the Lions. Play action for Williams. Over the middle caught by Harris. Nice spin move. And that's going to get him an extra 15 yards. And a big first down for the Lions as they look to get on the scoreboard for the first time today. Score is 14-0. Still a close game. Lions with plenty of time here. And that pass is almost picked off. Frank Theory hits the quarterback as he throws it. And at 4th and 10, they're going to go for it. Williams, deep shot to the end zone. Double coverage. And it's caught and dropped. Major hits the ball out of his hands at the last second. What a play. We're going to see the Jackrabbits back on offense. Daly Redding picks up 11 yards and a first down. They're attacking the outsides in the ground game today. Mason Smith left side now. Past the 40 and up to the 32-yard line. Another good run for him. Kelvin Perkins, the star cornerback, has injured his arm on the play. He will return. Matt Harris going to throw it. Nope, he's going to take off. Using his feet. Gets up past the 30-yard line to the 29. And he has injured his hand on the play. That is big. And we're going to see the Jackrabbits' third-string quarterback here. Matt Harris is done for the game. Daily Redding, nice stiff arm. Gets the first down for South Dakota State. Nice 11-yard uh, carry. Mason Smith, another carry. Left side and down inside the five-yard line to the two. And he's got 68 yards on the ground today. That leads the team. Jed Andrews gets a carry. The third-string quarterback has his first career touchdown. And it is on the ground. Quarterback sneak. And that is with 18 seconds remaining in the first half. That'll end the first half. 21-0. Jackrabbits on top. 190 yards of offense. One turnover inside the red zone. So it could be 28-0 right now. Andrew's going to come out throwing it. Play action. Pump fakes. Wide open down the field. It's Brahms North to the 40-yard line. What a perfect throw from Jed Andrews. Perfect spiral and all. Perfect placement. Let's make him the starter over Lamar Jackson. No. I'm just, I'm, I'm kidding, guys. Don't worry about it. Lewandowski now down inside the five-yard line. Another perfect throw from the third-string quarterback. Where has this guy been? Oh, my goodness. Been riding the pine all year. First to go from the two-yard line. Daily Redding outside to the right, and that is an easy score. Daily Redding now with 16 touchdown runs on the season. 18 total touchdowns for him. Beasting and feasting. He is an absolute monster. And a nice play over the middle to Patrick. Good throw from Brett Williams. Seven first downs for the Lions, but they have no points to show for any of their offense today. And Smith's going to fumble the football, and it is recovered by LeFew. And let's take a look and see who forced it. That is Mason Smith, folks, his first career forced fumble. He has just been an outstanding player for the Jackrabbits this year, and he continues his success. 28-0, the Jackrabbits on top. Andrews continues to throw the football, and Browns North is wide open again inside the 30-yard line. Three consecutive completions for the third-string quarterback. Just a great throw again. First and 10. Andrews taking a shot to the end zone. Erwin Dowski is wide open. Oh, my goodness. This offense has exploded since Matt Harris went down with an injury. So if you guys are ever having trouble with your uh, starting quarterback, your backup comes in, he's not doing so hot. Just put your third stringer in there, and you'll be fine. Trust me. 
What a throw. Wide open. 35 nothing now. Lions are in trouble. They're about to allow a 50 burger. And they go three and out instantly. Andrews gonna throw it again. Right side, wide open. Ermandowski. And he's close to the marker. Five consecutive completions for Andrews. Third and one. Daly running up the middle. First down and more. Stiff farming a defender. Carrying another one. He's up to 77 yards on nine carries. They're going to give it to Redding again. He's now over 1,200 yards rushing for the season. Up past the 45-yard line. First down, South Dakota State. Mason Smith gets a carry. Oh, my goodness. What a block. Did you guys see that? Mason Smith is gone. Wow. And there's a flag on the play. Doesn't even count, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that block. That was just unreal. Look at this. Boom. Dead. That was great North, the center, absolutely laying him out. Mason Smith putting his shoulder through a defender, gets up to midfield. So a huge touchdown negated. The Jackrabbits punt the football away. But it doesn't matter. Jamar Hicks has another interception on the season. That's his second of the game. He, of course, has been a beast as well. A lot of special teams touchdowns, a lot of picks. And here's Daly Redding right up the middle. Juice to the outside, and he's gone. What a move he put on that safety right in the open field. Actually, between a bunch of defenders, 17-yard touchdown run, his 17th on the season. His third of the game. What a move. That's going to make it 42-0. Crowd is still in this game right now. Chris Major misses on the tackle attempt on Harris. And Jamar Hicks will track him down at the 8-yard line. One of the best plays of the game for the Lions. And it was because of a terrible play by the Jackrabbits. Williams to the end zone, wide open is Young. He beats Chris Major for the score, and the Jackrabbits lose the shutout. But it's okay. This game is well in hand right now. Lions have no shot at coming back. They're down five touchdowns, and they have Daly Redding running all over them right now, up to the 36-yard line and another first down. Mason Smith in the backfield. He'll get a carry. Halfback off tackle. Pass the 45 down at the 50. Mason Smith looking for a 100-yard game today. And he's going to have it right here past the 30, the 20, the 15, all the way down at the 8-yard line, tracked down by the cornerback. So the 40-plus yard run from Mason Smith. And they're going to give it to him again on the option. He is going to walk into the end zone for an easy score. His second of the game, he's now have, he now has six on the year. Smith up the middle, and he's going to score again after the Lions go three and out. Mason Smith, have yourself a day, young man. Three touchdown runs, that'll give him seven on the season. And he's well over 200 yards rushing on the year. Probably over 300 now. I think he's close to 150 for this game. 194 for the game. Three touchdowns for Mason Smith. Career game for him. He also has a forced fumble on the game. His first of his career. Chris Major forces a fumble. Mason Smith's going to pick it up for his first career fumble recovery and scoop and score. Oh, my goodness. Definitely player of the game. Gets his first career forced fumble and fumble recovery and scoop and score. Wow. Mason Smith. This is an unbelievable talent. Doing it on both sides of the field. Almost 200 rushing yards today. So four total touchdowns for him. Last play of the game. Back of quarterbacks in. He gets sacked by Frank Theory. And that is going to end it. 63 to 7. Jack Rabbits come away with what was an easy victory for them. And they would have scored even more points if they had Lamar Jackson in there. But the Jack Rabbits, 6 to 3 on the season now. The Lions are just not doing so well this year. But with some nice recruiting, I believe that they will be a pretty solid team next year. Jed Andrews, third string quarterback, came in. The offense exploded. I did not expect that at all, but he was just on point. Every throw it seemed he was just going way downfield, and everybody was catching him. 539 yards of offense, 364 on the ground, 175 through the air, zero sacks on the Jackrabbits today. Only one turnover. That was that TJ Maxey fumble inside the five yard line, so it could have been 70 to seven. And you can see the offense really did explode once that third string quarterback came in. 48 point, or 42 points in the second half alone. Dead Andrews, 5 of 7. He started the game 5, uh, five for 5, had a touchdown pass. Mason Smith led the team in rushing yards. I believe that's the first time this year. 194, career high. That doubled his career total. 
and three scores as well. And Daly Redding, 144 yards, three touchdowns. Four broken tackles for both halfbacks. Mason Smith with two 20-plus yard runs. Daly Redding with one. Erwin Dowski had the touchdown reception today, 76 yards on three catches. Brahms North, 57 yards on three catches. Jack Marks did well. Erwin Dowski, two drops, one for Brahms North. De Beers, Filler, North, and North all had a bunch of pancakes today. No sacks allowed. Just a fantastic day for the offensive line. Chris Majors, seven tackles. Uh, Smith, a bunch of tackles. Force fumble. Fumble recovery. Fumble return for touchdown. And James Holland, the fourth string cornerback, came in, got his first career pick, 69 yards on the return. Frank Theory had a sack today. Bunch of deflections. Brett Williams was just throwing it all game. His team was getting destroyed. He had no choice. The ground game wasn't working for him. And we had about a million pass deflections. Chris Major, two forced fumbles. I believe those are the first forced fumbles he's had since the first game of the year where he had three. Mason Smith, touchdown. He had four total touchdowns today. It'll be interesting to see if he could get Big 12 player of the game on offense and defense for the week. That would be amazing. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Nothing special on returns. And there are the players of the game. Smith, Redding, Major, Hollinsworth, Hayden, and Young for the Lions. They were somehow ranked 47th nationally. I don't know how but they are not going to be that high anymore. Our next Jackrabbits game, they will be traveling to take on the Nichols State Colonels, and that is a Week 11 matchup. Our next game, which will be out tomorrow, is the 13th-ranked Bryant Bulldogs traveling to Hampton, Virginia to take on the Pirates. See you guys with that one tomorrow, 6 o'clock premiere. Take it easy, guys.